Mama said there'd be days like this. Hi. Today has been a tough day already, and it's only morning time. It's not morning time because I spent my entire morning being locked out of my house. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, so that's why today we are going to make breakfast cheesecakes. That's right, something that you should seldom eat with something that is the most important meal of the day, which is gonna be more important now because it's about my happiness. Let's do it. I went to the store to get golden grams, but apparently people don't carry golden grams as readily available as they used to, so I found something that may be better, may be worse, but it's definitely something I think we all needed in America. S'mores cereal. A cereal for s'mores. Oh, shoot! No. no! This is not gonna work. Food processor. Good looks. Separate the little s'mores bit from the marshmallows. Take the marshmallows and dispose of them. Go. Um. No, my phone! Sup? Sup? Why? Honestly, what the freak? Oh, it just wasn't on all the way. The beautiful sounds of a domestic life with little to no complication, am I right? Oh, this does not look like a cup at all. But it does look like a crust, so we're 50-50 here, which is still a failing grade. We need more. Why did I think this would be simpler? Good, we're learning. I am losing it. From now on, there's nothing that can go wrong from this point forward. One cup of the s'mores, one tablespoon of sugar, four to five tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna do five because it's been a long day. This butter work. Mm. This would be a great salad dressing. Now this is glorious. Gloria Stefan. Put the butter in. You smell that? It smells like promise. We're gonna make mini cheesecakes individually for every bad morning that is about to come our way. <laughs> oh, line them up. Line it, line it. Lionel Richie, Lion King, Lion Hotel, Saving Private Lion, Lion Gosling, Lion Reynolds, Hips Don't Line, other line puns. Okay, press this into the bottom of the tins to make our crust. Good luck figuring this one out. Great job. Oh! Almost great job. Smush these into the bottom. Yay, us! Cover and refrigerate. If anyone asks where you are, I'll make something up. That's good cover. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees in the bowl of your electric mixer. <laughs> we don't have anything. I'm supposed to beat this cream cheese until it's smooth? Are you kidding me? Cream cheese! All right, I chose my weapons. The thing I just have to remember is that people did this forever before they even had electric mixers. I am bewildered. We can't afford to lose any more spoons, so we're just gonna put this in the microwave. We have a more heavy duty spoon. Oh, this looks much better. Two thirds cup of sugar and an eighth a teaspoon of salt, which is basically nothing. Why even put salt in? That's so small. One eighth of a teaspoon? How are you even supposed to measure that? Make this one thing. I don't feel comfortable in such a small bowl, but we have already committed. <laughs> I didn't commit to that sentence. Let's do a different bowl. I need two eggs. I got happy eggs because I was like, if maybe I buy something that says happy on it, you are what you eat, right? A teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Done, I feel great. Zest a lemon. We only need a half teaspoon of this, so. Basically what that means is dirty the zester for almost no reason. But we're doing it, because we're following directions and this is what we were taught in the American school system. This isn't working. Do a better job this time, okay? Thanks. Lemon zest. This is a squeezable sour cream package. I've never seen this before, and I'm so glad that someone I'm so glad that someone thought that this was one of the top priorities of the food industry because I agree. This is awesome! I love when things are cooler than they used to be. Like it, I like it. And a third time, I like it. Now it's go time. Remove the crusts. Oh, they are hard. When things work is a miracle to me. 
them in the oven for about 20 minutes. They look much firmer than before, but the centers still jiggle a little bit. So I think this was the right amount. So apparently now is the worst part. We have to let this cool and then let it cool in the refrigerator for like two hours. So I'm like, this is the worst. See you in two hours. 10 out of 10 look like cheesecakes. Just cause it's stuck. I had higher hopes for this. Oh, half of it came out, great. It turns out that they weren't ready. Who would have thought? So at this point, I'm going to let them sit overnight and we will revisit this tomorrow. Good night. Overnight, these sat, so hopefully they will come out a little bit easier. I don't know why I'm trying to do it like an ice cube tray. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is stupid. Okay, okay, see? So that's why you make 12, because half of them aren't going to agree with you. We are going to fill our breakfast cheesecakes with some more breakfast stuff. Blueberry yogurt. Create a little hole in the center of this. Fill the cheesecake, Lucky Charms. Put the marshmallows on yogurt as the adhesive. Crush up the boring part of the Lucky Charms. Kind of hurts a little bit. A little bit of pain. Oh, I have a rolling pin. Is this what this is used for? Oh my gosh, this is working so much better than expected. Take your cheesecake and roll it on the side. Wow, I think this was a great idea. Tell me this doesn't look pretty edible. Now continue. See, now we got the flow of it. I'm basically gonna ice the cheesecake. You wanna tessellate them so it looks like a mosaic of breakfast and sorrow. This is so far from failing now. I think we really took a turn for the best. And there you have it. My name's Megan Mattoon. These are your breakfast cheesecakes. So, check us out. B -b -b Whoa, I made a freaking cheesecake. Wow, let's get some of that yogurt. Whoa, this doesn't taste like adversity at all. Wow, wow. Wow.